it's really good um i mean initially things were a bit hectic and uh bit difficult uh, just because you know you are you're from india and it's a very different culture here and people are different and you don't really interact with so many people on a day to day basis so it takes a while to actually get used to that and curriculum wise also like personally for me the way i have studied is way different than uh what people do here so it took me a while at least a semester to actually like get a handle on these things and figure out how to go about it but otherwise it was really amazing i actually honestly did not really expect it to be this good because i actually uh, found a lot of uh, friends who are from india and um, who have lived here most of their life and it was really amazing my most core uh, family you could say was uh, my best friend who came with me and also my seniors uh, who helped me a lot to get through everything right from settling down to figuring out how to go about things uh, just personally and you know even like uh, academic wise and it was it was really amazing to actually have those as a support system I always had an inclination towards biological sciences more and uh, I wasn't really inclined as much as other people to do uh you know be a doctor or an engineer i i kind of really didn't want to go into that field and uh, by the time i figured out i realized i re- what i really want to do is more of uh like life sciences research and uh, uh go forward from there so that's the main reason i actually did biotechnology in, in my bachelor's and i took um uh, biotechnology in my masters because i wasn't really sure what stream i wanted to like focus more on there's just so many amazing things about it like these days i'm more inclined towards immunology some days i'm more inclined inclined towards like protein biochemistry it's it's amazing so just being in like a field of biotechnology gave me an option to like pick and choose in like which labs i do my research in and gave me a broad understanding of what my uh, uh true passion is or what i actually want to work in or even if i do like further graduate studies to a phd or post doc it gave me an understanding of uh, what i want to pursue uh, my career in and you know like that's what i would want to do for the rest of my life i would say there are a lot of uh, pros and cons to it like i personally think that what drexel had basically was having a hands on a uh, technique experience uh going into a lab and getting taking a research project under your you know like like your responsibility and going through with it every semester is is a whole different level of understanding like how you are actually going to be doing um you get evaluated on it but that's fine because i learned a lot to uh you know scientifically i actually uh broaden my scope of understanding that i did not really think i had as much during my bachelor's so it really helped that way like every semester i would have a different lab that i would go to and it totally depends they are very flexible about the fact that you can stay in the same lab or you can go to a different lab so i did two different rotations in two different labs totally opposite skill set opposite um you could say uh, functionalities or different streams right within biotech and it kind of gave me an idea what i want to do further and what i would like to focus more on and what i would not be comfortable doing so there was really a good aspect about it the only thing that i felt uh, i had to work on a bit was all the other campuses in drexel had an opportunity to go through um the co-op system through drexel i personally had to apply for co-ops myself and figure out a way because 
um, Drexel doesn't really do co-ops for the College of Medicine side of students. That's what our uh, uh, biological sciences field lies under. So um, unless they have actually like uh, made changes to the program, then that's the only glitch I found. But it was not that difficult because our program director was pretty understanding that we want to go out and gain some industry experience to figure out where to go from there. I feel like I'm currently in Boston. Honestly, I see more of computer science people up here, but I also see equal and uh, biotechnology people up here. So I'm in a metropolitan city where both of them are thriving to the great extent that I cannot even imagine. It certainly is. I mean, uh, during Drexel, I would say we did a lot of, obviously, uh, when you're when you're like giving exams and um, going through test taking skills and all those things, those are very important part. And I really didn't realize that it would play such an important role because apart from those, there are a lot of things at Drexel that was very important. Like we had journal clubs every week. Every person will present a paper or the latest findings and people will discuss that around the class. Or you have like your lab rotations, which is every day. That basically helps you understand how you troubleshoot or um, you know how you critique your own data and and how you actually discuss with your lab members or a lab meeting and like bounce of ideas off of each other so that you get an insight of what you were missing on about your project. That's that's exactly what I do uh, on a day to day basis. Um, talk with my team, figure out if I'm missing something and then they, they put their own ideas or viewpoints on the table and we all learn something when we're out of that meeting that because nobody is wrong and everybody has a different aspect of looking at things and it makes um, working much better because you're more efficient when you're working in a team and all those things um, somewhere I learned from Drexel. Drexel doesn't have a placement strategy at least for College of Medicine campus which is what I belong to. I ended up trying to get a co-op at GSK and from there I went on to find jobs. Everyone that I know of got placed. Um, some people decided to transition into PhD so they're currently doing their PhD. Yeah absolutely most recruiters are very open they always respond to you. Um, initially, I had a bit of issue figuring out how to go about it. So my senior suggested me that always shoot an email if you see their email on LinkedIn. And if you don't, then personalize your message and send a note to them that you'd be interested to chat. Most recruiters say yes, they pick the time to talk to them. And even if they're not able to help you, they definitely pass on information about their colleagues or anyone they're working with who can possibly help you find a job. So it's pretty, uh, pretty great. Um, you con you're constantly making contacts up here.